which is uh, organized by the School of Commerce and IIC on uh, IPR high, in high, higher educational institution, which is being conducted by resource person Dr. D. Tony Robin, founder and director of Com Computational Intelligence Research Foundation. It gives me a pleasure to attend this webinar uh, and I would like to uh, extend my sincere gratitude to the, uh, uh, the faculty members of the School of Commerce for uh, organizing such a webinar. And by conducting such webinars, uh, the faculty members are, are helping us to uh, enrich our knowledge, which will be a further lead uh, us to uh, help in the career development. Uh, I would now like to welcome Ashwini of Second MCOM FC to deliver the welcome speech. Good morning, one and all. Session here in this webinar. It gives me such an honor for me to get the opportunity to welcome you all on the campus of the department. I institution right it's a bright morning on 7 September 7th I'm really glad and thankful to God for giving me this opportunity to meet the students the faculties of uh, Nehru College of Arts and Science all right so that we have an interactive session how are you all today can I get your answers on the chat it is pandemic it's soon to be going to end and we are adjusting to the new normal C. How are you today? Let me have your answers on chat. And we are adjusting to the new normal C. How are you today? You can't hear my voice? Is my voice? You're able to hear? As Prashan says, he's not able to hear others. Could you hear? 
Hello? Fine. Thank you, Anjali. Thank you once again for the good introduction. Is others, you are able to hear me? What about others? We have uh, 55 plus people. Quick canters on chat. How are you today? It's a very simple question. Yes. Let me have a quick answer respond from you because it's virtual meeting. We literally don't know how many of you are into this or just you have switched off. Okay, Mrithika, thank you. Thank you, Mrithika. Uh, thank you, Ketana. Thank you, Guru Sangavi. Thank you, Guru. I'm fine with the grace and mercy of God. Thank you for asking me. Thank you, Sneha. I'm happy that you're good. Thank you, Prashant. Prasad. Sorry, not Prashant. Prasad. Thank you, Mega, Mega Ranj, Rajan. Okay, thank you, Monica. You're good. Okay, this is the greatest blessing of God. This is the greatest blessing of God to hear that you're all fine in this pandemic. All right, every day we have 24 hours and we have got excellent opportunities that travel through us every day. Grab every second, use the every good opportunity and use it diligently. Okay, that's the thought for the day. Every day we have 24 hours. Sometimes it's easy to be lazy, but refuse to be lazy. Okay, it's easy to be lazy, but always refuse to be lazy. So this is just a simple thought for the day. All right, so to start off with, I'll share my screen with you. Okay. Able to see in my screen? No, ma'am. You aren't able to see? Okay. okay. I hope you'll be able to see my screen now. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So I would like to thank Gauri ma'am for having invited me to give a talk of IPR and higher education institution. An entire thankful note to the entire management of uh, uh, Nail Arts and Science College for having organized this. And uh, a very special thanks to the students of this college and all the participants of this webinar. All right. So today we are going to look about intellectual property right how it can be used in higher education sector in specific to the students of course all right so ipr it stands for the definition here it goes like this ipr are the rights given to the person over the creation of your mind you've got each of you are created uniquely by god Okay, everything is unique. The way we think, the way we speak, the voice, the sound. Though you are born for the same mother and father, you've got as siblings, the face structure differs, the voice they differs, the way you think you differs, everything differs. So intellectual property rights are the rights given to the person over the creation of their mind. You've got your own creation. Government of India is supporting a large for especially the student community to propose your ideas for the betterment of the society right so intellectual property rights you, you see you are a student of Nehru College of Arts and Science if you are ID card the security will not stop coming into because you are the student of the college and you are the, you have the right to enter into the college all right if I come I am nowhere related to you. All right. Then the security will stop. Why do you come? Whom do you want to speak? So we are not given the rights. All right. So in, likewise, that intellectual property right, you create something from your mind. Do a, something, an innovative idea. All right. Which is more, more beneficial to the society. All right. So when you are the creator, they give the creator the exclusive right. Okay. To use is her own creation for a certain period of time. If you take patent, it's for 20 years. If you take copyrights for 10 years. So it depends accordingly. 
all right it is just a right you have created something you have brought in something and this is a right given to you all right in india india where intellectual property stimulates i want you to understand two points if you are listening to the talk and if you have a paper and pen along with you or if you have a mobile along with you just type this word creativity and innovation this is the keyword that you need to strongly agree to it listen to the talk very carefully at the end of it we are going to play a live quiz let's see who is going to win and india where intellectual property stimulates creativity and innovation for the benefit of all is more important it's not only the benefit of you this is the vision of our national ipr policy okay there is lot of creativity there's lot of innovation how many of you have uh, changed using your mobile phones from your birth till now how many of you have changed your mobile phones you should have bought a mobile phone right how many of you have changed are able to hear me hello <laughs> yeah how many of you have changed your mobile phones from the day from your birth how many mobile phones you have changed nothing or you have seen your parents using your mobile phones have they changed what is the difference that you have seen this is simple mobile phone which is used for communication you can feel free to unmute and speak yes any one of you can see the difference before the mobile was like this but now it is like this we have got beautiful students yes before it was the bad phones now we have uh, touch screen yeah before we had button phones now we have got touch screen and we have got siri you have got google assistant even without touching when you see voice and anything services are there can you see the difference between there is a creativity there is an innovation involved all right for the benefit of all okay this is for government of india wanted especially the students to get your so you are, you have got your very excellent students because college time and school time is a one where you can contribute a lot all right so when you come into ipr and higher education institutions like nehru college of arts and science okay universities and public research institutions are direct contributors you are direct contributors towards innovation and research particularly in emerging economics okay you know about commerce you know about economics what is emerging what is the trend that is coming i know now i i want to tell to students of commerce the data analytics for commerce students is mind blowing now i would have given lot of lectures you can check out my youtube channel just go to youtube and type dorian robin you get my youtube channel all right commerce students there's a huge demand for you in the market because you are strong on accounts you are strong on finance you are strong on the accounting management system but if you equip yourself into the data analytics there is a huge demand in the market for you for the next 15 20 years all right so i just i want to register that point so what ipr the hti that hti for the more if i say it is stands for higher education institution okay or uh, you are the direct funder you do lot of research you know research happens at research institution more predominantly it happens at universities and college okay particularly when you come to a presentation you say what is the latest technology used the significance of ipr in higher education it is widely 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 recognized okay this could be credited by nash i told you the vision of national that is creativity and innovation for the benefit of all that is what every citizens need to do especially the students okay as approved by the union cabinet in may 2016 which was the first ipr policy framed by the government of india all right this few years back what is the primary focus i told you the vision of ipr of indian ipr and from 2016 it is given especially because you you think of it where research is being done more a large number of students at the college right so the primary focus of this policy is to promote i said 
innovation and creativity. I remember these two words at the end of this lecture. I asked, what is the two words that's more predominant in IPR? I, the answer is innovation and creativity for the benefit of all. Okay, especially among entrepreneurs and in higher education institutions. Government of India is students. It's promoting, it is uh, giving a lot of benefits for the students. The faculties of college to enrich yourself to do your contribution, okay, towards the innovation and creativity, okay, where it is benefit for all. It is the place where most of the uh, basic ideas led to researchers and then it is converted into engines. That is the idea, okay, and that idea is leading to the research. I want to do something like this, okay, and the research is converted into invention. When you make invention, you make innovation. When you make the invention commercialized, understand this point. When you make invention commercialized, it becomes innovation. Where it gives inventors to protect the invention, innovation, okay, through IPR. And then eventually converts the uh, innovation into a new startup. First step is an idea. The power of an idea is important. How many of you, you use Facebook? Yes, give your answers. Y in the chat, no means get type as well. N in the chat, how many of you use Facebook? If you use Facebook, type Y. If not, type N on the chat. Ready for your answers. Yes, yes, I'm using. Thank you, Sai Ruben. Thank you, Anjali. Anjali is one of the most active students in today's session. Deethana, Kalyani, yeah, Deethana also I'm getting. And what about others? There are 62 people. I want everybody, if you feel lazy, also just type one letter, Y or N. So many of you are here. I want to the end of the session, at least one or few questions. I want everybody to answer. You know? No. Okay, you know, our Facebook is a website. Does it give its own content? No. We are content developers for Facebook. We post a picture of us. We post um, a text content. All right, we post a video. Okay, and web Facebook is a website which doesn't have own content, but it creates content by others. It's far off an idea and it's viral. Now more viral... <clears throat> Instagram. How many of you are into Instagram? Yes, Sandra Das, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Most of you, even I'm into Instagram. Okay, see, that's a power of an idea. That's the power of an idea. There is an idea they thought they have to implement. Then they research it, how it could be done. Okay, that is what you do in your college. You do your final year projects. You do a, do a paper publications. Okay, your teacher is telling some hands-on experience. They are organizing these kind of seminars to understand more about it. You do a research and from the research, you convert it into an invention. You invent something that is non-existent. Before Facebook, it was non-existent. Then Facebook is an invention. Once it is commercialized, it becomes innovation. There's nothing called as WhatsApp. So we use Google Meet. Yes, for the session. I'm not, I'm in Chennai, you are all in Pimper too. And you could be in different places in Pimper too. All right. And see, there's a research involved. Then there's an invention. That is what government of India wanted the higher education institutions like Nehru College of Arts and Science students to contribute. You have an idea. If this could be like this, it's more better. Then how do I do it? Research towards it. Then make an invention. Then you can register it to the IPR. Then innovation, when it is commercialized, you can be an entrepreneur. You can have your own startup. Okay. These are the patterns, okay, contributed from 2011 to 2020. Okay. By all universities and institutions. You can see um, when you see this blue line, it's a sum of all institutions. A red is IIT. A green is lovely professional university, um, purple is Bharat, and light blue is Amit University. Okay, 
So patents file for the last 10 years. Okay. How it has been filed. Can you see Amit University was stopped most of the records. More than 350. Of 2020. Right. So patent filing is one part of your idea. It's not fully. It's not idea. We'll see one by one. All right. This is the basic structure of components of IPR. What we saw is patent. Okay. Uh, whether you have uh, in your college have they published any patents? Faculties are there. Yes. No. Patents. Yes. All right, that's great. Okay. So patents is one, how you file, which is not existent, and we do it as a workable model for the benefits of the society. All right. Next, we'll be seeing about trademarks, copyrights, trade secrets, and geographical indication. Okay, IPR, these, these, there are many things, these five are the main components. Patent. Geographical indication, copyright, trademark, and trade secret. Okay. Uh, uh, can one of you say any uh, place that refers to a product? When you say when you say Trinal Valley, it is famous for. You can unmute and speak, girls and boys. Let's be quick. Alva, Tirunal Veli Alva. Can you say some examples like Tirunal Veli Alva? One or two examples. Kanjipuram. Kanjipuram. Thank you, Mithika. Kanjipuram. So we say Kanjipuram. Sari. We say Tirunal Veli Alva. Okay. Then what are the other things you say? If you say Rajapalayam is famous for, we say Rajapalayam. Dogs, yes. So we refer to the geographical place and tell about the product. All right. So when you say like this, it is coming under geographical indications. All right. Just for an example. Okay. Thank you all for your good response. All right. So let's see about the example of a trade secrets. All right. And then trademarks, copyrights, and patents. All right. So when you say about, um, uh, when you see an Apple phone, what is the symbol you see on Apple phone? Can you unmute and speak? When you see an Apple iPhone, what is the symbol you see? Half by an apple. Half a part of it is a bit an apple. Wherever you see, you say it is iPhone. It is an Apple product. That is where it protects the brand. When you see Samsung, right, you know the logo of Samsung. Oh, yes, it is Samsung. It has become unconsciously, we know when you see, it has the font, it has the part, the logo of it will tell. When you see a BMW car, you see the logo of it, right? Then you say, yes, it is BMW. Okay, trademarks, it protects the brands. Okay, trademark, it protects the Brands. Trade secrets, you protect the secrets. When you make a new invention, you make it secret. Okay. The Coke formula, how the Coca-Cola was formed. The Coke formula. Okay. And that some, most of them, they protect the secrets, secret information. For some, you, how many of you, when you travel in uh, on a car, what is that you wear on a diagonal side, what it is called as? Seed belt. Seed belt was a pattern in, in uh, register. And then they said it is much useful because it, it protects people from accidents. Then they open it and the secret is split. All right. Something that is benefited for the society, the secrets are revealed. For some, they don't reveal the secret. Okay. So protecting the secret information. When you students are going to do a new invention, you can protect the secret under Trade secret. Able to understand what is trademark, it protects the brands. Copyright. How many of you have the habit of reading books? Yes, no? 
How many of you are interested in drawing? How many of you wish to direct a movie? You can unmute and speak, students, no problem. Yes? Any answers? How many of you? Yes, ma'am, I like reading books. Yeah, thank you, Anjali. You like reading books, some of you like drawing and in a way to drawing. What is the famous drawing? Can one of you say one of the famous drawing? Mona Lisa. Mona oh, Lisa, expected answer. Yes, that's a copyright. All right, you can copyright your paintings, your drawings, sorry, not your paintings, your drawings. You write your own books. You see in all your books, it is copyrighted. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? On the books, yes. the, it's cop, that's copyright. Okay. And you can, if you direct a movie, you know, there was a uh, conflict between two people uh, on the cinema. All right. And then they got resolved because this is my return song and you are warning in this or I know most of you know about it. I don't want to make it explicit. Okay. You when you make a create a movie or you write your own songs, you make your own lyrics, you can make a known tune, you can protect the works of authorship that comes under copyrights. When you come into patterns, okay, it's a functional or a feature. Okay, it's a functionality. That is non-existence and it has come. But most of the patterns are already there is a product and they're improvising. Already phone was there. Beautifully said. Then there was a button phone. Now there's a touch screen. Now there's a swipe feature, you know. The swipe feature of each of every phone it is different. It is different. So the swipe feature of an iPhone when you take. Okay, for example, that could be a that comes under pattern or functionality all right it could be a software it could be a product that comes under patterns which is non-existent but when you research on patterns what basically they say there are many patterns available and the and the new patterns are coming are improvising the existing we have button phones then we have touch screens, but the phone functionality is the, remains the same. But we keep improvising before we had one camera, now two camera, three camera, I don't know. One year at the back side, it will be only cameras. So it keeps changing, all right. A particular feature that belongs to a particular brand needs to be registered under that. Able to understand now, trade secret, trademark, copyright, patterns and geographical indication. The five components of IPR, yes, no students. You were able to understand? Yes, yes, yes. thank yes, you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Listen carefully, we are going to play a live quiz at the end. Okay, a good news for the students. Okay, this intellectual property talent search examination, okay, it is hosted by AICT. Make a note of it if you're using a paper or pen or anything. IPTSC. Okay. IPTSC. This is the website of it. It's open now. And uh, you can go on to the website IPTSC. I'll post the link on the Google Meet chat. And I'm streaming my entire session on YouTube. At the end of the session, I will share the link, after which also you can see to it. Okay. Can you see here? Can you see onto my screen? Okay. They have given All India, a Council for Technical Education. They have given it on 12th August. Okay. It's the fourth uh, edition of intellectual property. You have got your creativity, you have got your innovation. They're searching for talent search examination. Okay. Okay. It's been conducted by IPTSC Academy uh, from 1st December to 15th December. Okay. So many students have got benefited through this. All right. 
and the date of registration is 21st August to 21st October. If you are interested from college, many of the students also they receive internship opportunities with the industries. They offer new learning horizons. Okay, so I strongly encourage. There is a mock test from first number to fifteenth number. The date of examination is first to fifteenth December. Okay, there is a mistake here. To fifteenth December, it's not November, it's December here. Can you understand? So it is uh, uh, the opportunity given for the students. It is also for school students. Okay, for school students, it's 299 is the charge and for college, 399. Okay, so it should be more useful for you. If you are interested, you can go on to it. This is the website, IPC registration. It's open now as we are speaking about intellectual property, right? Okay, so... Government support is also there, students help you to learn, earn besides excelling knowledge in intellectual property. You can win prizes and scholarship, internship opportunity by renowned corporates. Okay, it is shaping you can become entrepreneurs every time. We need not go and wait for others. Okay, this examination certifies the students for the knowledge of copyright that you're listening now, the patents, the trademark, geographical indication, industrial design, and trade secrets. Okay, these are the things we are speaking about. All right, it's a golden opportunity. Okay, so we went for, for the government, you will be given projects to work on with if you are selected. Okay, so I strongly encourage students, uh, college students, or if you know any of your school students, also you can encourage them. All right. You can see to it. Next, uh, we will move on into the importance of IPR. Okay, the startups and IPR are the major pillars for the higher education institution. You can, even when you are as a student, your faculty members and students, you've got a new idea. You will research it. You invent something new. You can make it a commercialization as startups and IPRs are main pillars of HEI. Okay, and uh, uh, this is the website for IP. And share the website. IPindia.gov.in I'll copy it and paste it on the chat. Uh, students, you can make a note of it. First, I told you about intellectual property talent search examination. This is IP India. Okay, I told you about the designs. Okay, what are the new designs that you want to do? You, you can do it and you can submit it the trademarks, the geographical indications. All right. The trademark, the trade secrets. Okay. So you can see there is an online training on IPR. Okay. A lot of things government is saying. Strongly encouraging, especially the higher education institution. Because they have got a huge set of students who they can work on with. Okay. And there is something. Can you see into this website? You are able to see my screen now? Yes, no? Yes, no. Okay, there is something called as public search here, wherein you can search before your, you are going to file a new patent, you are going to do a new, new design because it should be unique or the trademark or geographical industry indications. All right. Say, for example, if I go to uh, patent search, I told right 90% of the patents are registered are improvising your existing function. Okay, so you can search with the title or you can search with the topic, okay. Whatever it is that you want to do, you can have it, okay. You want to search with an abstract, like as your common students, I'm just giving commas.
there are different search fields see the cost effective product returns in e-commerce using iot can you see the data that is published see you are all commerce students like integrated platform for e-commerce and retail electronic commerce okay a sort of contactless crowd sensitivity and blockchain technology and also uh, when you search uh, you can um, search as which is granted there is something published and granted i am going to check with uh, uh, what are the publications that are granted all right So can you see it is 2018 e-commerce um, brand and it is for 10 20 years all right so if i take this integrated user realistic simulation of 3d model and a billboard as an e-commerce okay i can uh, see to the application status here and the more uh, beneficial factor is that all the formats how a pattern has been registered everything is given mm -hmm. see this this application from uh, email in tpart okay so first you need to file it then it will be published then it goes for rq file then it is examination and disposed So now I can check only for patent. Many of them can submit it, publish it, but granted only I'm seeing. And this is the patent number. When you click on, when you click on view documents, you get the entire format. See what are the relevant format? Okay, how is the patent certification? How what is that part they're getting the patent certification? Okay. what is the form for startup okay how they have given right from the first application form 1 drawings okay everything format is given so it will be easy for you uh, invention of a billboard so uh, whatever it is see how just type on billboard okay our unit user interface can you see here how it how it is going to work every format is given every template is given so for you it will be easy for if you want to fill this form for example you have got a format how they filled it so it will be easy for you to do it so all the uh, all the formats are given in pattern such whatever is the form what are the content that you need to prepare this is a very very good tool for you you have a structure of it to work on so when you take ip government uh, ip Uh, India or GOV. That I N. We have seen this is the Na Rajiv Gandhi National Institute of Intellectual Property and Management. It's Nagpur. Patent offices are available in Kolkata, Delhi, Chennai, and Mumbai. And the design we told the design of a product. Okay, that is available in Kolkata. The trademark we saw with Apple logo and everything. Right, Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai, and Ahmedabad. G I. is we are speaking about thermal vili alva rajapalam dog kanjipuram series right their registry office is in chennai and the copyright you ownership you are writing your books your uh, music your drawings right their office is there and this is the ic the integrated circuit that design it's available in chennai what are the what are uh, what are the initiative that government of india is giving okay national student and faculty startup policy this is their the hti hti it stands for higher education institute they are going to strongly supporting you to do your contribution okay developing entrepreneur agenda managing ipr rights ownership technology licensing equity shares when you start up and between you and the college okay and this is the national innovation startup policy 2019 this is the first is the chairman he is the chairman who encouraged this new formula forum okay ashok jindanwala professor iitm innovation and startup ecosystem into the education ecosystem okay bringing up of that And this is what it is called okay so national innovation and startup i hope you have you have been working on to it a guide framework for higher education institution 
that's the major talk for today. Can you see this? Okay. How many of you have gone through it? Yes or no? Maybe faculties? I give you the link. Okay. Can you see? This is the entire 40 page write up where it is giving for uh, students or, and faculties. Okay. To collaborate and work on with that. Okay. So. Uh, a lot of uh, proposals are given uh, by the government for and encouraging the higher education institutions like you, okay, to work on with that, okay, to work on with that, okay. And a lot of budgets have been allocated, okay. The institutions should establish, okay, in institutional innovation council as per MHRB and allocate budgets for it allocated. So these are the creating innovation pipelines. For entrepreneurs at, you can become an entrepreneur at the institution level. Okay, spreading awareness among students. That is what your college is open to this talk. Okay, can be taught of innovation. All right, solving problems of society and consumers. Entrepreneurs should in, uh, involve with focus on market. What is the need of the market? Design thinking, critical thinking. Okay, for creating the startup through education. Integrating it. It's a new forum and it is of great use for you. Okay, you can have faculty members, students, and you can, I, I hope your college, uh, uh, and also you can encourage students to start, institutions to start innovation and entrepreneurship power for outstanding ideas. Okay, ideas is a boom now. That is what government is strongly recommending you. Okay, go through this, how it is being given, what are the functionalities where you can work on. Okay. Uh, it's a it's a whole document is given okay you can start working on with that and you can see here investment on entrepreneur the institution financial strategy minimum one person of the total fund should be allocated for innovation and startup uh, through the separation of innovation fund okay even from the college you can get funds for your new innovation if it is really working you've got faculties to work with you to find the feasibility of it if it is going to work and how far it is going to be beneficial for the society okay so, hope you are able to understand the students, national innovation and startup policy. Have you seen this before? This is the website of it, mig.gov.in. Have you seen it before or are you hearing it for the first time? If you are hearing it for the first time, type yes. If you already know about it, type no. If you are hearing about this for the first time, type yes. Or you know already about the national innovation startup policy, type no. Oh, yes, thank you, Gaudi ma'am. Faculties, yes. See, this is what your college, most of you are saying, yes, you are not aware of it. You are hearing for the first time. All right. So, uh, listen and uh, try to contribute, become students of yourself, groups, and then work. This is what the government of India, they wanted to do. Now, coming into government of Tamil Nadu. Okay, the Tamil Nadu startup innovation and um, policy. Okay, what do they do? 2018, they find private IP centers to encourage to provide IP guidance to startups and to strengthen this. Okay, and um, can you see this is startup Tamil Nadu policy? See, outreach program with colleges, incubators. Okay. So introducing entrepreneurship as a part of curriculum. Okay, as per ACT norms, encouraging entrepreneurship development and innovation council. I hope your college will have headed by a faculty to start up entrepreneurship and innovation campus. That's what they're conducting events like this. Credit based the CBCS. Okay. As many startups interdepartmental in one department, you cannot do. See, you are strong into commerce. Like Nehru College, you've got uh, science, computer science department and different departments in your college you can have inter department you can have a startup where it is facilitating the comfort for the citizens of India okay and uh, be introduced in consultation with industry okay as we are from CIRF 
we are being consulting to many co many colleges for the innovation because our company CIRF is an R&D company where we have registered under Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Government of India. Okay, Government of India. It's a Section 8 company, I know, because you are former students. You will learn about proprietorship, Section 8, trust, society, and we belong to uh, Section 8 company. You can, this is the website of it. All right. And uh, see, when you take properties, generally in house, we say uh, when we buy jewel, it is a property. When we buy a car, it is a property. If we buy a land, it's a property. Intellectual properties are literary and inventions. Huh? Literary and inventions, which is totally new. Okay. So, literary works and inventions is a product of human intellect that has an economic value. Okay, what's the difference between invention and discovery? Okay, discovery, somebody has found something, but it has been existing. You discover it. Okay, discover like class, how Vasco da Gama discovered. Right, that is discovery. They are not creating, they are finding what has been pre-existing. Okay, what has been existing they're finding it out and bringing it to life. That is discovery. But when, when you come to IPR, it is invention. Something has developed by someone that has never happened before. Like Facebook, before Facebook, we didn't have anything. That's an invention. WhatsApp, it's an invention. A smartphone, it's an invention. Okay? So, which has never had before. The Chinese invented the first printing press. That's an invention. Able to understand the difference between invention and Discovery, yes, no students. Yes. Okay, thank you, Guru. Okay. Uh, let me quickly move on. So when you take uh, the wheel, it's a great invention. A fire still uh, for uh, um, Debating topic whether it's an invention or discovery paper. Imagine days without paper. Imagine ink. That's an invention. A pen. Okay. And uh, the new um, industries are industry 1.1. That's the screen part. Two, assembly line. Three, computer and automation. And four, the cyber physical system. Cyber physical system. So, you know, uh, before when we go to shop, they have handwritten pen. No, none of the shop has handwritten but mostly. They scan it with barcode or QR code and with the QR code you do your uh, the transactions, the accounts I can transfer money like GP and different things. Right? So um, it, it keeps increasing. First it was industry 1.4, now 1.0, now we are into 4.0. That is what even in patterns you can see IOT is there. Okay, so you have an operational report, what is happening, especially in your then business user report, what is a financial report or dashboard? That's what I said on my YouTube channel. These things are most important for former students. And uh, from we are providing six-month internship training, three months of training for the students, and three months of working on a live project of your own department. It starts from October. Okay, If you are interested, you can join into the course for, through CIA. Okay, that will be posted onto our website. We are revamping our website. So, uh, we'll be posting up a uh, six months internship for the students. You will be given training on three months of different analytics. If it is common students, how you take the sales data? How do you define it with your knowledge of forecasting? What methodology could be used to increase? And then we tie up, you can do a live project. Okay. And for the next six months, October, November, December will be the training. Jan, Feb, March will be your product development. In addition, we are also helping students to go for journal publication. It's a new innovative idea. Then we move on for patents also. If you are interested, you can collaborate with CIR. All right. So analytics. The analytics plays a, a vital role. Analytics plays a vital role. So, um, I don't have anything like uh, 
what do I say? Uh, but through analytics, I can see how many people are visiting my website every day. Okay, how many reachability is there? Because analytics plays a vital role. Okay, without analytics, you cannot do. Okay, without analytics, even for your sales. Okay, this is my income for the next this five years. Will be will it be my income for the next few years? Okay, what should I change my uh, logics of my sales? Okay, to increase the productivity, or in what part the productivity should be increased? All right. So for those things, analytics plays a vital role, and data and the data analytics for common students. I strongly encourage you to learn because to the next five to ten years, there is going to be a huge demand. For the common students who are being trained through analytics, that is why we are also coming with this internship opportunity, and it should be of a very good takeaway for you. All right. Once it is getting loaded, I'll move on to the next slides and come back to it. So when you take mathematics four point. Um, okay, automation, connection, cloud computing, IoT data, big data, and integrated. A system, you know, a lot of people started using internet post uh, after pandemic. Okay, after pandemic. Okay. So what does uh, see uh, like you, we are you we are under college. Let's see how students have done. A ten year old Suman he created more than ten robots from Kerala. Okay. Then you see this girl who wanted to protect honeybee, Kavya Vignesh. Okay, when she was 12 years old, that's a new innovation. Okay. Developed skin patches to detect heart attacks. Class 10 boy. Okay, Akash Manoj. See, he has made a device to help the visually impaired to read. Okay. Visually impaired to read. So, like students are doing goggles for blind people. Before we had seen this grinder, maybe in your great grandmother's house, and then it is now we are all using this. Okay, how many of you seen this video before? Automatically, this grinder pushes out the floor. Yes, no? Okay, it's getting time to get loaded. Okay. So after the session, you can see it's in YouTube. It will automatically pull out. This is a the product is already available, but we are improvising it for the betterment of the people. Okay, betterment of it's from your place point but two. Can you see without keeping hand? Without keeping hand. It is the floor is mixed and it pushes out and it cleans. Okay. The design is involved. Okay. What is invention and innovation? Invention is you a new idea a product but when you make it a commercialized when you make it a product only if you think the Steve Job would have designed Apple and he has been using it it's just an invention when it's innovation is invention and through commercialization commercializing the invention is innovation I repeat it commercializing the invention you're bringing the product into the market. You're commercializing it for the benefit of it. So strongly, I encourage students, don't stop with invention. The most need of the art is innovation. So you have an idea. You research it. Then you invent it, design, engineer, prototype it. It's your creativity. Then innovate. Innovation is commercialization, delivery, and how it is accepted by the society for the broader benefits to the markets and Able to understand the difference between idea, invention, and innovation? Yes, yes, no, no, yes. Okay, 
So when you take a wheel, it's an invention. When it's been used into the vehicles, it is innovation. World Wide Web is an invention. Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, everything is innovation. So I told it's a type of distinct creation where people are recognized, where people are recognized. So when you see about a, a trademark, can you see this bottle itself, you know, a trademark could be a name, it could be a logo type, it could be McDonald, it could be a slogan, it could be a shape, it could be whatever it is. Okay. So patterns is functionality development. Patterns are functionality development. Okay, Pat patterns are functionality, a new functionality. Can you see through years how Coca Cola bottle has been changed? Okay, that comes under trade. That comes under trade. It's valid for 10 years. I told you about geographical Mother Imali, Raja Palem Dog, Tanil Veli Alva. Okay. So, like uh, Darjeeling tea, Mysore sand and soap, like right? So, when it comes with the geographical indication, it comes under geographical indication, okay? When it is referring to a particular place. Copyrights already, I told you, you know about it. They had a conflict and after the end, it got so Mona Lisa, the sand, the windows, okay? The musics, that number all comes under copyright okay that and all comes under uh, painting sculpture drawing diagrams maps stats okay engraving comes under copyrights Are you able to understand students what and all comes under copyrights okay life plus life plus 60 years okay So patterns, I told it should be something workable. I showed you how you can, it should be an novelty invention step, okay? And we searched, you have product, who can invent new improved product or process by the product, okay? So, and there is one more website, I'll tell with that, who will grant patents, Indian Patent Office, that office is under, I told you. And strongly you and um, follow one of these. Okay, follow uh, this is sustainable UN sustainable development goals uh, like no poverty, zero hunger, good health, quality education. You can focus on these topics. So key partnership for the goals fees. Uh, for this, you can uh, contribute your ideas. So okay, we saw about designs, visual design of an object, trademarks. Protects brands, copyright, protects workshop, works of authorship and patents. Okay. So here is where you can work. Goal 9 of the UN Sustainable Government Development, you can work on them. Okay. As colleges. And uh, uh, myself and my husband, uh, we are goodwill ambassadors for Negali Masala Tamil Nadu. And you, through this workshop, I would like to uh, um, strong make a strong note, try to avoid using plastics or try to think, work with people, what could be the replacement for plastics for the better society. But uh, now, or recent days, there is a, a great thing that I have been thinking about. We are all using masks, right? Masks. And how this, and most of us, we use the, we need to use masks to protect ourselves. There is no other go. Uh, let's think of working of a, um, a decomposable mask because masks maybe after 10 20 years if it is fully flooded what will happen to the society all right uh, think of using before we use the products how it could be recycled okay uh, i will not say no plastics try to reduce the use of plastics how many of you will agree with me reducing the use of plastics from for today because uh, we are promoting Negri Masala Tamil Nadu. So, Tamil Nadu, plastic free Tamil Nadu, and brother, we are promoting it. How many of you could um, make some contribution from today to avoid plastic only at home? Yes? Can you give me some assurance that you will try to avoid plastics usage at home? Not no plastics. That is impossible because we are all using to it. How can you agree with me to reduce the use of plastics? Yes? 
No? Yes, we can give your answers. Yes, you will try. Thank you, Anjali. Because our, uh, our, say our ancestors have given good society to us. And we need to give a good society for our younger generation. So what a society is more important, we can focus on these topics. Okay? So coming to the end of it, innovation leads to new creation. New creation leads to bigger action. Bigger action leads to the progress of our nation. Now let's uh, uh, play a quiz. Okay, I'll post it onto the chat. If you are able to understand today's talk. Yes, you can just click the link on. You can just click the link on. Given your name. And also, this is yukti.mic.gov.in funding. They are giving funding for education institution. Can you see my screen? Innovations at Yukti. Kindly see to it. Okay. It's throughout the year they are giving this. Okay. Yukti. You can, for the faculty also can register institutions, startups. Okay. Students also. Okay. I kindly, because government is giving, government is giving funds. Okay, government is giving funds. Okay, so I strongly encourage students to go through this. Okay, to grow through this, and you can become ambassadors, innovation ambassadors. What are the and uh, when you click on announcement, okay, on these things, on what are the dates, and they are encouraging throughout the year. Okay, on two phases. Okay, kindly uh, visit this website, yukti.mic.com gov.in and you have got funding opportunities from government okay i hope iac mentor mentee your college maybe has okay innovation ambassador program institution improvement inter student innovation see there is a concept called student innovators and entrepreneurs students okay i'll give that link all on the chat Okay, go through it, dear students. There's one more thing called mygovernment.gov.in here. Whatever is your uh, interest, okay? Whatever is your interest, you can see to it, okay? You can see to it. Okay, where you can contribute, okay, all sections. Can you see inventing ideas from Man Kibat? Share your ideas and suggestions with PM. Unsung heroes are inventing creativity ideas and suggestions for skill capital. Here you can work on commerce students. It is open now. The last date is September 17. And you have my idea box. Okay. This would be a good opportunity for you. Because government is encouraging students to share your ideas and suggestions. Okay. The youth of India. Okay. For creativity in addition to it. Okay. You can see. Um, what are the comments given, okay, by people, and you can also participate. And the government is literally taking an enormous step in, into it. Okay. You are able to get the link. Yeah, yeah. I'll just try to talk. So you are able to understand today's talk before we are going to play this. So any anything, if you want to collaborate, you can collaborate. You can contact me. I will share my contact details. You can get my contacts uh, even through Gauri Ma'am. Okay. Through Gauri Ma'am. So we are there to support institution uh, to make their ideas formulate it, make it as an invention, all right? And then that is what major CIRF is working with institution. 
You give in your name and you can join. I've started that link. Yeah, one of the students have joined. I'll again post it onto the chat. Let's see who's going. People are watching even through YouTube. I'm posting out in the live chat. Only four of you have joined. Can we start others? Would you be joining? Just click the link and give your name. That's it. Okay. The first question IPR stands for. Teachers also could join. Yes, intellectual property, right? Four of you have given the right answer. Let's see who's going to win. The first question the winner is Vanita Ma'am, Vritika, and Tinky. I don't know who's Tinky. Let's quickly move to the second question for the day. Innovation is equal to what? Idea into invention, creativity into invention, or invention into commercialization. I told you what is innovation. Idea. Then we go into the research. It's invention into commercialization. How do you commercialize it? Okay. IPR's policy is creativity and invention. Invention, you discover something, sorry, you develop something new which is non existent and you commercialize it, then it becomes innovation. Let's see who's going to be the winner. Mrithika is the fastest. Let's move quickly move on to the third question for the day. A unique identity uh, indicator or sign refers to a unique, whether it is copyright, pattern, or trademark. Think before you answer. Yes, it is trademark. The Apple logo, Samsung logo, it could be shape, photo. Let's see. The winner for the session, for this question, is Vanita Ma'am Pastors, Pratika and Sandra. Okay, let's more of the fourth question. Geographical indication is the name used to on certain product which risk corresponds to what? Whether it's a town or region or a country or all of the above. Yes, it's all of the above, right? Yes, Vanita Man Madari, the fastest Mutika and Santa. The last question is going to define who would be the winner for the day.
which of the following protects the works of authorship, whether it is design, trademarks, or copyrights? Yes, it is copyrights. The writing of your song, the books, the drawings. So we'll see who will be the winner. Anjali is the fastest. Yes, the winner is Anitma. Your feedback over today's session, IPR and higher education, you're able to learn something new. How was it? Okay, so I'll just share uh, my contact details and my any questions you have, you can tell me. Okay, today's session I'm streaming online, so I'll post that YouTube link. Maybe after the end, you have got doubts you want to see, you can see to it. Thank you for this opportunity given to me to share about IPR and higher education institutions uh, over to the organizers. Thank you all. God bless. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, a very good afternoon. Uh, it was indeed an informative session. Thank you, ma'am, for your valuable time. I now request Vinisha to deliver the vote of thanks. A very good afternoon to one and all present here. It gives me immense pleasure to deliver vote of thanks for this event on behalf of the Department of Commerce. I extend my gratitude to our resource person, Dr. D. Doreen Robin, founder and director of Computational Intelligence Research Foundation, for such a wonderful and informative session. Thank you so much, ma'am. The session was really interesting, informative, and gave us depth inside knowledge on the topic intellectual property rights in higher educational institutions. Now, I would like to extend my sincere thanks to our principal, Dr. B. Anrutan, M. Kanjan School of Commerce, Dr. R. A. Ayaparajan Khanvena, Dr. Raja Rajeshwari, and Ms. Gauri for organizing, secretaries for organizing this webinar. Last but not the least, I would like to extend my sincere thanks to all the students presented in this webinar. Once again, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Venetia.